All right, now it's time to start talking about Bernoulli differential equations. Uh, I'm just going to go over the method on how to solve these in this video, and then in the next videos we'll do some examples. Um, so yeah, let's just get right to it. Uh, Bernoulli differential equation has the form uh, y prime plus some function p of t times y is equal to another function g of t times y to the n. Now you'll notice this is exactly the same as a uh, linear first order uh, with the exception that we now have a, the g of t term is multiplied by y to the power of n. So before we get into this, uh, there's going to be a few things that we're going to need to do. So how to solve these is we have to declare a new variable. We're going to call that variable v and we're just going to define this as y to the power of 1 minus n. You're always going to need to do this for Bernoulli differential equations. So we're going to need a little more information before we get around to solving it. We're going to say that v prime uh, is just 1 minus n, 1 minus n times y, uh, the derivative. So we would have y to the minus n because we subtracted 1. And then this is all times y prime. OK, uh, we're going to need to know, as you'll see in a minute, that we'll have to isolate y prime. So we can just rearrange this equation. So we have y prime is equal to v prime over 1 minus n times y to the n. And the last thing that we're going to need to know is that if we have y times y to the minus n, this is obviously going to equal y to the 1 minus n. And if you notice that we have here, this is equal to v, this new variable. Okay, so that's just, we need to get that out of the way because we're going to use all this stuff. Now, when we want to actually go and solve this problem, we want to divide every term by y to the n or multiply y to the n minus n to every term. So we can go ahead and do that. So we have y minus n times y prime plus y to the minus n times p at t times y is equal to g of t we had y to the n, and then we also had y to the minus n. All right, so let's take a look at this. Um, we have y to the minus n times y prime. So for the first term, we have y prime, and we look over here, and we can express y prime as this stuff here, v prime times y n over that. So let's just rewrite this. So we have y to the minus n times v prime times y to the power of n. This is all over 1 minus n. All right, so for the next term, we have y to the power of minus n times p of t times y. So this is the same thing as p of t and y to the power of 1 times y to the power of n minus 1 is the same thing as y to the power of 1 minus n. OK, and then y to the power of n times y to the power of negative, and those cancel out, so we are left with just our original g of t. Now we can go through and cancel out this, the, these y's here. So we'll have v prime over 1 minus n plus, right, the, those two, the y minus n and y n canceled out. Um, now we have p of t uh, and y to the power of 1 minus n is equal to v, our new variable. So let's just call it v. This is equal to g of t. Okay, so one last thing that we want to do here is multiply every term by 1 minus n. So we'll get v prime plus 1 minus n times p of t uh, times v is equal to 1 minus n times g of t. Now look at this. Now we have a linear first order, first order differential equation, but the variable now is v. So all we have to do is to solve this using integrating factor method, uh, and that will give us a solution for v. But when we do that, notice that this whole thing will now become our p of t, uh, and this whole thing, if we actually had answers, or I mean uh, regular, if we were using uh, equation with real numbers, we could combine all of this. And this would be the g of t that we use in our linear first order differential equation problem. So anyways, we would do that once we solve for v, which we'll do in the next video. Um, remember up here we had v is equal to y to the n minus, uh, 1 minus n. So we'll get some solution for v, um, but that's also equal to y to the power of 1 minus n. So if we want 
uh, if we want to solve this differential equation though that we were originally given was in terms of y so our solution is y so then we can say that y will simply be equal to v to the power of 1 over 1 minus n and that will give us the the general solution to the, the original differential equation. All right, so this was just the general uh, form of how to, the method for how to solve these. So in the next video, I uh, will show you how to solve an actual, an actual problem with real numbers. Okay, see you there.